Welcome back to another episode of the tallest player carryable series in the world. Look at our guy, Kyle Hudlin, who is six foot line and is banging in goals. I want to start this episode with looking at the top scorers because obviously we joined after you know, six, seven games in the championship. They recalled us back from loan. And um, since we joined, as you can see, we have played six matches and we have scored five goals here in the... Actually, we know we have played five matches and we've scored six goals. So yeah, you can see the others have played 12. We are flying up right now and we're really helping uh, Huddersfield, you know, um, progress further up in the table. Their goal from this season uh, was actually to get promoted from the League One. But now that we are in the championship, it is obviously to fight for playoff and, uh, you know, try to make it into the Premier League. It would be amazing if we could play Premier League football in our second, you know, second season of, uh, of this player career. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, just uh, get into the first match today, which is going to be against Millwall. Now, Millwall is the number one team in the league right now on 27 points. They have won all of their games, so this is going to be a tough one. And we know that we lost the last game. So we need to kind of bounce back now against the best team in the league and, um, you know, pick up another three points. It's going to be a nighttime game here and it's going to be uh, intense. Let's get right into it and see what happens. But um, as always, guys, please smash the like button on this episode if you are enjoying the series so far. Please just share it around with your uh, friends as well. Get more people to watch it. it really helps out the channel and, uh, you know, makes it, makes it even more fun to do these videos every single day. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, hope that we can be a little bit more clinical today because in the last episodes we have needed, like, you know, three, four chances to score a goal. So I'm just hoping that whenever we get a chance today, I'm just going to score it. We are now obviously a 65 rating as well, so we are making uh, good progress. We started out in episode one as a 60 overall, so... Oh, we are flying. We're getting close to 70, which was our goal for the season. I think we're gonna go go way past that to be fair. But uh, Millwall has won themselves an early corner kick, and they take it long, and just like that, it is. Oh my god! How how did we just let that happen? Absolute chaos. Between our keeper and defender. Let's look at this. I mean, you know, things like that can happen, man. It's just very unlucky. But Millwall, they, uh, they are the most dangerous team in the league for a reason. That is not how we want to start the game against, uh, against Millwall. When we are, uh, you know, away and really need a victory. It's uh, still lots of time, you know, to get goals, but we have we haven't even had the ball so far. This has been a, a horrible performance. I think we have four games in. Uh, well, we have obviously five games, and I believe we won three or four of them. Obviously, we lost the last one, so I'm, I'm hoping that it's not going to be like a start of a bad period for us. But just a draw, just a point from this game would be good. I'm not expecting too much more from the leaders of this league. Alright, wow, that is a late tackle. That felt personal. Finally we have the ball, maybe we can actually do something now. We receive it and ooh, we get so lucky. But you can see how well... Millwall is defending this. We can barely get a pass. This is such a poor performance. Here is Millwall again. If they make it 2-0, this could be over already. And they managed to get it away. But they have won it back straight after. Come on, guys. Be a little bit more aggressive in these uh, in this defending. We're just watching them play it around us. Oof. Come on, there we go. Hodlin gets stuck in. But again, you know, they win all of the second balls there. This is unbelievable. This is so poor, I have no words. 
This is the worst performance I have seen of Huddersfield so far. We're getting destroyed. Maybe now. Maybe this is the moment. This is the chance that we needed. Hodlin will obviously outstrength this guy. We play it to our teammates. And oh no, that is unlucky. Maybe I should have just kept going myself and just be a little bit selfish there. Okay, that's a little bit better from Huddersfield. Here we go. Let's play it to the left wing back, but he stops the run. Still waiting for the first chance, really, in this uh, game. So boring when we never have possession. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, what's the point of even playing this one? We're getting cooked. We have a 5.5 overall rating. And we haven't even done anything wrong really when we have been in possession. I think this 5 at the back formation is not working for us right now. Come on, get to that one. Yes, Hudlin. Then we get it to our teammates. Can he get it back? No. That's going to end up being a goal kick. I think we might be on for... You know, as long as it's 2-0. And keep going like this. I think we might ask for a sub. Manager obviously needs to change something up here. This is not working. And yeah, we knew Millwall was going to be tough. But this has been... This has been no chance at all. Come on. Oh, we cannot even get to that first. I mean, they're winning everything. Look at how open it is. Somehow they haven't made it 3-0. But this is absolutely shocking, boys. What am I watching? That's going to be it for the first half, I believe. Really poor game. And yeah, we haven't even had a shot. So let's just get into the next half and see if the manager... You know, he's able to change something at half time to make us play better. Okay, looks like we can at least make a couple of passes. Can I give it back? There we go. And my pass is off, unfortunately. That's about better than anything we did in the first half. Yeah, I don't know. Should we just request a substitution? Because our stamina is going down pretty quick as well. Oh, all of a sudden. We almost win the ball for the first time in the game. But yeah, middle ball is looking strong, guys. They are probably going to be, you know at the top or like close to the top the whole season cannot see that many teams are stopping them to be fair they're gonna fight for automatic promotion but here we go come on huddle in now let's try to take it past this guy yes and then the pass look at that players are falling around us because of our strength and our aura is too much for defenders and we actually get one back here Kyle Hudlin with an assist. You love to see it. And maybe that's going to give us a little bit of fire now to go again. Potentially get another opportunity. But there we go. Finally we're clinical. We get one chance and we score. Alright. Let's see if we can build on that though. Look at this. What has just happened? What am I seeing? Uh, what can we do here? Absolutely nothing. We spent too long on the ball. I didn't see many options. Come on. Ah. Okay, I think we're going to stay on the pitch for a little bit longer. <laughs> because the game has changed. Oh, all of a sudden, Millwall are through. And the shot is blocked. Come on, get it up here. We will get to this ball. Nice and easy. 
hold it up. And we lose it in the end, unfortunately. Oh no, Harry Spillwall. Could this be game over? No, we're still alive. That's a poor touch. Can we get the ball in behind? Yes, here we go. Kyle Hodlin. Pass one. What a touch. Kyle Hodlin. No. What an opportunity to get a goal. Uh, I'm still going to stay on for a little bit longer because all of a sudden we're playing so good. But that could have been 2 2, you guys. Wow, imagine getting a point against this team. But now Millwall, is that a penalty? Uh, that's going to be a corner kick. 20 minutes left of the game. I have a feeling there is going to be another chance for us in this one. That is why I'm staying on the pitch. And no. From the corner kick, guys. Another set piece. I'm tired of these set pieces. And now there is no point. It's it's too late now. It was close, guys. We were close there to a comeback. Almost managed to get a draw if we would have scored that chance, you know. That's what I'm talking about, though. We always need so many chances to, to get this goal. But we are only 65 rated. This is an ultimate difficulty. It's not easy to get goals. So uh, now it is Halloween time. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and uh, spend that in the gym. Absolutely. I think that's the best option that we should do for our career right now. And um, we will go ahead and train as well for the next game. Let's see, we get better dribbling, better uh, shot power, short passing, finishing. All of this is making good progress. And uh, after that game, we actually dropped down to 18th in the table. We now go two matches in a row where we obviously haven't won a game. So now we really need three points. That's all I'm asking for. This is a home game as well against Hull City. So please, we really need to bounce back after these poor losses. Come on, at home as well. Should be a good performance there. Oh, that's a good pass. We look very sharp on the ball, I have to say. Look at that pass as well. Hodlin passed everyone. And in the end, it gets blocked. But what a run that was from the six foot nine striker. And this game, the intensity is good. We almost get it. This is promising, guys. Just do whatever it takes today to get three points. I don't care if we only win 1 0 with an own goal from Hull. We just have to get the points. Here we go. What an attack. What an attack from Huddersfield. But the shot is way wide. Already 6.6 .6 rating. 8 minutes into the match. Carvalho is a good player. we got to be careful about him. But uh, our defending seems much better. Look at the passing as well. This is incredible. And now Hodlin, we're just going to keep running. Can we give it to our teammates? Oh, we don't have the uh, the stats for that just yet to make those kind of passes. Let's try to save our stamina a bit because I know in this game we will get many, many opportunities. Coventry has taken the lead against Millwall. Wow. Are they actually beatable after all? That is a nice ball, but it's a little bit too much behind it. And we will win the throw-in. There we go. Beautiful ball. And look at our strength again. That is our you know, biggest, biggest plus. It's our power and our aura. But... Uh, it is more difficult for us because of our balance and stuff to to become a good player on the ball. I will do my best. Imagine when our stats are good, guys. This six foot nine player 
he's going to be unstoppable. He's going to be the most effective player in the world. He can do anything. No, that's not the right pass to go for there, but luckily we win it back. Here is Huddersfield on the attack. Oh, he played backwards as always. Nothing new there. We have to drop down in midfield to try to create something. That is how bad it is. That's a good pass. And now, now we are through. What a run. What an attack. And Hodlin almost gets the goal. If that was a little bit more to the left, it would have definitely gone in. But uh, this, is, this is a good performance. We have almost all of the possession. Can we get that to the teammates? Oh, simple passes like that we cannot even make. And now whole city running forward. We cannot go 1-0 down here. That would be... That would ruin everything, I think. Seri on the ball. Carvalho. And no problem. I think that's going to be a corner kick, though. Okay. Look at the stadium, by the way. Beautiful surroundings here in the, in the forest. Somehow I headed backwards. That's not what I wanted. Whole City still got it. And they get lucky. We have to get it out of there. Yes. Maybe now. Okay, we'll take the throw in. Take it quickly. Oh my god, Kyle Hodlin, six foot nine, has done so well in that situation. And with the pass as well. Oh, it doesn't go all the way through. Unlucky. Middle wall has equalized, of course they have. They just seem to uh, never lose. But now Hall is getting more involved in the game, I don't like that. Seri now, we know he can shoot. And another corner kick for Hull City. Keeper, anyone? And, oh my god. Come on, play it quick. Yes. Now, we can just run down the line. Can we get past this? Keep going, Hudlin. Keep going, please. Somehow we still have it. Somehow, and... Oh, we probably should have released it, but... Okay, here we go again. With the pass. Can we get it back? Yes! And now, Kyle Hodlin with a goal-scoring chance, and... No, oh, how have I not scored again? We get a huge chance, guys, to score. But I, I always need a million chances to get a goal. It's getting very frustrating now, to be fair, guys. Oh, wow. We should have had a goal, guys, in this game. No question about that. We cannot stop, though. We got to keep trying. You know, you, you are unlucky when you hit the post and things like that. You know, at least make it go outside of the goal and be like a bad finish. But all right, let's switch the play. Good. Can we get through here, Thomas? Oh wow, what a run! What a run from the right back. He crosses it in. Finds absolutely nobody there with that one. Let's try to save our stamina a little bit because we know how fast that goes down in the second half. I know that we will get another big opportunity and we have to score it, guys, because, you know, Hull might also get one opportunity, might get a goal. We really don't want them to get anything from this game. We just got to get the three points. Oh, no. Whole city with the shot, but that is bad. And now Hodlin, come on. We cannot take it around the defender, unfortunately. But let's put pressure on this guy. Almost. 
Things are gonna open up now. We're entering the 60th minute. Here is Hull City. Seri with the shot. And that is a save. Let's head that one away. And are they gonna get another chance? Oh my god. We are a little bit unlucky, guys, right now. Wow. I mean, that shot is unbelievable, but it's like the... This football can be cruel sometimes. This is very annoying. We are in our first bad period with Huddersfield. Since we joined back with the club. Come on. The six foot nine Messi. It's just not working out. Nothing is working right now. This is what we didn't want, of course. Whole city to get that first goal. Are they going to get another one? This is good football. This is really good football. Wow. I mean, we're just looking, standing around looking at them doing all of this. We are going to lose at home as well. Wow, that is now going to be three or four losses in a row. Absolutely disaster. We actually do get one uh, one goal there, but it's it's not enough. Terrible guys Yeah, we are in a bad period with Huddersfield and things are not looking good right now. That is for sure We are still I mean we, we are almost back down again to play uh, or to the relegation zone Where we, we did so well to get out of it, but you know now <laughs> I don't know what's happened But you know there is still many 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 games left uh, and um, we will we will try to bounce back now. We have QPR which is very important They are ahead of us. So this is a chance to climb the table again And now I mean if we lose this game, I I'll be very concerned. We have to win at any cost guys. We have to win this game Come on, please This is gonna be a good atmosphere Come on Hudlin Good start needed. Look at him moving here. We have literally no other teammates with us. We have to... Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Did I just break my leg? This season might have just gotten worse. This season might have just gotten terribly bad. But I think we're going to be okay, right? Yeah. It looks like it. From the free kick... Not able to do much with it. I really thought we were gonna get like a six month injury there, man. That looked so bad. Okay. QPR is panicking, it looks like. Yeah, I've got a good feeling about this match. That is good football, and now they have a, a big opportunity. The shot is saved. Giving away way too many chances. But look at this, look at the space. Oh, okay. Not a bad option. Let's play it back. Let's cook something now. Huddersfield, through the middle, to Hodlin. And, oh, he almost fights his way through. Yes, we win the ball back. QPR look really unconfident on the ball. And now Hodlin to number 12. Oh my god. That should have been a goal, man. But I cannot say too much because I probably would have missed it myself. But now Hodlin has been played through. And with the pass. No. I really wanted to go with the safe option. Come on, corner kick. It 
falls to Hudlin. We turn. We know we can shoot with our left. But this time it gets blocked. So many chances for us in this game already. But we cannot capitalize on them. Okay, we will get more chances though, no doubt about it. This QPR defense is pretty bad, I have to say. Their attack doesn't seem very good either. Come on. Hudlin gets the ball, turns and then runs through literally everyone. Kyle Hudlin, finally! I feel like crying, guys. I'm literally that happy. I'm so relieved that we finally have a goal. And what might look like could be another three points. Get in there. Shout out to all of the Huddersfield supporters, by the way, that have uh, taken the trip to QPR, even though we have really bad form. The loyal supporters are here in London with us. Ah, get in there, man. 8.1 rating. This has been probably so far, I would say, one of the... Maybe the second best performance of uh, Con Hodlin. Obviously, we have that one game where we scored two goals and two assists in the uh, in the championship. I don't think anything will beat that probably this season, but... This is good, guys. I'm absolutely loving it. Oh, referee. Almost another injury for us as well. Crazy. All of a sudden, they do get one chance, but not dangerous. Okay. Let's get another goal. Why not? Let's get this victory, man. Over the top. Beautiful. Can we get to that one? No. Passes aren't that good that we can you know, ask for those long balls and expect them to be too accurate. Here we go. Yes. We get it. And now we shoot it. And... It's not close to the target, but yeah, we got to keep trying, guys. I like all of the chances that we're getting. We're so much involved right now. That's really good. Come on. Keep going, Hudlin. Oh, we almost win the ball there. What is QPR doing? Oh, this is going to be one of the worst teams we have faced this season. And they're at home as well. Literally not able to do anything. Yes, there we are. Through the middle. Hodlin gets it. Turns. But then... They get to it. QPR with a lot of possession now. Are they going to be able to do anything from it though? Ooh, here they are. They might get their first chance of the match, but no. Great defending. And now we can run in behind. Come on, Hudlin. Please do it. Do you have the pace? Do you have the stamina? Kyle Hudlin. Still going. Kyle. No. What is that shot? As you saw there, first of all, I was too nervous to shoot with my left foot. Even though we have seen before that we can, we can score with it. Ah, it's just, it just shows that we don't have still the most confident in the world after these bad results recently. But here we go again. We are getting so many opportunities. And this time I have to do it myself. Kyle Hodlin with the second goal of the game. Incredible, incredible performance, man. And we have been pretty clinical today as well. Two goals added to our numbers and uh, all of a sudden we are up there in one of the top scorers in the league guys get in there and uh, we're gonna keep playing we are on for a hat trick this could be my first hat trick of the season so uh, we will still keep playing even though our stamina is gonna go down a lot let's uh, let's stay on for at least you know 25 minutes 20 minutes at least come on try to get this match ball should be history for us. 
Yes. Oh my god, these passes right now is beautiful from Huddersfield. That's a bad tackle. But a referee says nothing. Okay. Look at the pass. We're playing like prime Barcelona. This is insane. Number eight still has it. Oh, okay. He wins it back. Hudlin wants his hat trick, but this time he will pass it. Number 21, can you give it back? Oh, it's close. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? QPR, I mean, we, we saw the signs early in this game that they're doing weird things where the defender and their goalkeeper they just seem really stressed on the ball. And now we actually get a goal from it. We have to look at this again. Play it back to the keeper. Awful clearance. And then he just he just shoots it. And somehow he's able to get it under the keeper. So yes, 3-0 guys. Which means that we finally are going to get a victory. We are still on the pitch. Because I want to see if we could get this hat-trick. Which would do a lot, I think, for our rating, our confidence, all of that. But I'm not going to stay on for too long, obviously. Because... Uh, we wanna, we wanna think about our fitness. But here is QPR. Can we keep a clean sheet? I'm hoping we can. Nice. Look at the six foot nine Messi. And the ball is almost perfect, but we get it back. No, why didn't you pass it to me? We still have a chance. Oh. That was our hat-trick opportunity, guys. I think we might have to wait a little bit longer for a hat-trick. Because the next time the ball is out of play, I will ask for a sub. So, we will see if we're going to get one more opportunity or not. Here is Queen's Park Rangers. Maybe they will get one goal here. And good defending from Thomas. And yeah, that is going to be it for this game. So... We got what we came for, guys. We got what we came for. That was the most important thing today. Clean sheet as well, which is uh, absolutely amazing stuff. And uh, hopefully that means we have climbed a couple of spots up in the table. You know, there's only been um, there's only been 15 matches. There's going to be over 40 uh, matches of the season. And we can see that, yeah, we are 16th right now. So we have to keep going, guys. Next game is going to be difficult against Leeds. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for that episode. Thank you guys so much for the great support. I will see you in the next one.